The other day, I googled cinematic color grading, and 90% of the photos that came up were teal and orange color schemes, and I just don't believe that to be the case. The beauty of being a colorist is being able to manipulate the colors that you have in your scene in order to create this amazing emotion with your audience and get the idea of the story to the person watching your film. When I look back at a film like The Matrix, for example, everything wasn't as complex. It was a, a simple monochrome green color graded film. And it was so thought out that through every detail of the production, there was always a green element, which speaks to a lot of what we don't teach people today, that color grading doesn't start in post-production, but it starts in combination working as a director to create the color scheme on set to get the idea across. My goal in this color grading course isn't to act like I have some secret sauce that I'm withholding from you. Simply put, the matter of fact is, is that you, as the colorist, is the secret sauce to color grading. Instead, I am here to teach you the skills that you need to feel confident enough to break the rules that we have been taught and truly understand what each color tool does so that you can go out and work with all the many color schemes out there and create truly cinematic pictures. I've been asked for longer format tutorials and this is nothing but two hours of pure instruction. My name is Sydney Baker Green and this is my color grading masterclass. What's good everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer and cinematographer, and this is the launch video for my color grading course. This has been in the works for so long, and I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys, my audience, really letting me know that you wanted longer format instruction. And simply put, the YouTube algorithm does not reward longer format videos on my end. I tend to put them out there, but it, it does not seem like it's something that reaches you guys in my audience. And more so, it's hard to take in all of these years of knowledge and pack them into tutorials on YouTube, which is why I've created this color grading course, which is now available on my store. The main reason I've created this course is because one of the things we talk a lot about when it comes to color grading in DaVinci Resolve is the post-production aspect, how to get your colors to look the way you want them to look, but we're never talking about how do you set your set so that you get the colors that you want in post-production. A lot of people feel like they're horrible colorists, like they can't achieve what they're going for, and that's simply not the case. As a matter of fact, my set is designed in a way where I can color grade it in multiple different ways because I've picked the right colors to begin with. As a matter of fact, one of the roles that you and I, or a filmmaker like yourself, that would have in common with myself is that we often act as the director and the colorist. So when we're out shooting, it's our job to make sure that our set is right and knowing what type of color grades are going to work, whether we're shooting out in a forest or whether we have the ability to choose the paint of the room, the color scheme of the room, and add in those color elements. So to wrap this video up pretty quickly, since it is just an announcement video, as of right now, the main part, part one of my course, which is all of the post-production aspect, is now available for download. And if you have pre-ordered the course at the pre-order price, then you should have already have received that. Coming in the next week or two, there is going to be a part two of the course, which really breaks down color theory. In my tutorials, you'll hear me explain a lot about our knowledge of color theory. And I really wanna make videos that break that down. What happens when we mix certain colors? How do we really go about our set design? And what are some things that we can control here? And so I wanna break down and demystify not only the role of the colorist in prose production, but also the role of the director when it comes to color grading and working in line with a colorist or knowing that you're gonna to have to play both roles how can we get our starting point to work well with us in point B? That is it for today. If you guys would like to download this course, be sure to head to www.shopsydneybg.com 
It's in the LUTs and Presets section under For Photographers, and there you can find my DaVinci Resolve color grading course, as well as all of my color grading assets, such as the LUT pack that I use. The link for that is in the description down below, and there should also be a card that has popped up throughout this video multiple times. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. There will be a color grading tutorial or a DaVinci Resolve tutorial coming out probably around tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and follow me on my social media. The links are also in the description down below. Be sure to also follow the YouTube fam. Their links are in the description down below. And remember, if you guys are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.